Hi everyone, welcome to the Plant Life Podcast. My name is Dana, and today's topic of discussion is a plant that you may or may not be familiar with, called neem. It has a lot of beneficial properties and uses that I thought would be interesting to talk about. So if you're wondering what's so great about neem, then keep on listening to find out. Neem is actually a tree that is part of the mahogany family, and grows typically in India, Sri Lanka, and other countries in that area. Neem's botanical name is Azadaracta indica, and the oil comes from cold pressing the fruit and seeds of the tree, though other neem products like powders are made from the leaves as well. The shoots and flowers of the neem tree are edible, and can be found in Indian, Thai, and Vietnamese cuisine. Neem trees make great shade trees for areas that have little water, as they are very drought-resistant and hardy trees. This tree has been studied for its ability to absorb carbon from the air, and combined with its drought resistance may make it beneficial for reducing carbon footprints in low water areas. It is an important tree for desert greening, which is a process where we plant trees for reclamation of the desert for ecological reasons. Neem has been used for centuries for its amazing benefits. In India, it's been used for medicinal purposes for over two millennia. It is an herb used often in Ayurvedic medicine and can be found included in so many products in the store today, from body care, hair care, and even toiletries like toothpaste. Just about all parts of the tree are used for something. The wood is made into combs, the bark can be made into rope, and the resin is used widely in South Asia as a glue. Neem flowers are edible and can be found in many traditional celebrations in India. Honey can be made from the neem flowers as well, and the oil extracted from the fruit and seeds has many applications, from greasing cartwheels, to soap manufacturing, to hair and scalp care, and cosmetics like facial creams and even nail polish. It seems the possibilities of this incredible tree are endless. Neem's properties are said to include antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, and antiparasitic. Topically, neem has been used to help with many skin disorders like eczema, psoriasis, scabies, ringworm, athlete's foot, and scalp concerns like dandruff. Since neem has been used for so long with so many claims to its name, there have been many studies done on it. Its antibacterial effects are the subject of many studies, and studies have shown that neem has been effective against bacteria like H. pylori, strep, and many others. Some research has shown that neem even has benefits for the gums, like reducing plaque and preventing gingivitis. Even more studies have shown that neem is excellent for repelling insects as well. Neem is currently being researched as a non-toxic option to replace chemical pesticides on agricultural plants, because it is effective and has little to no negative impacts on the environment. As a natural pesticide, neem has also been shown to have benefits for bees as well, preventing many common things that can destroy or infest hives of honeybees, like mites and parasites. This oil is great to include in any DIY insect repellents, and is even included in our very own herbal insect repellent line. So what's in neem that makes it so great for the body? Neem oil is very high in essential fatty acids like linoleic acid, oleic acid, and alpha-linoleic acid, as well as antioxidants. One compound found in neem is called azadiroctin, also known as a triterpene, meaning it's made of three terpene units, which are a class of organic compounds found in many plants. Terpenes are typically what is responsible for the odor of the plant, and are the primary constituents of essential oils. Azadiroctin is found in the seeds of the neem tree, and is what is responsible for neem's aroma, as well as its insect-repelling properties. Azadiroctin can also be found as an active ingredient in many commercial pesticides. Another main component of neem oil is a triterpenoid called nimbin. This compound is thought to be responsible for most of neem's beneficial properties, like anti-inflammatory effects, pesticide, antifungal, antiseptic, and antihistamine properties. After all that information, you may be wondering, how do I use this incredible oil? Since neem has excellent antibacterial effects, one great way to use it is for acne. You can dab a little bit of the oil onto a pimple to help with acne spots. For the scalp, you can use it to massage into the hair and scalp to help with dandruff, or add a bit to your shampoo. Combine it with an essential oil like lavender for even more benefits. For dry skin, neem oil can be added to lotions for deep hydration. For your feet, try massaging it into the feet to condition and soften. If you want to take advantage of neem's insect repelling properties, try making a plant spray by combining a half ounce of neem per 64 ounces of water, then spray the leaves of the plant, including the undersides. 
If you want to try out neem oil for yourself, Plant Life carries pure organic neem oil in 10ml, 2 ounce, or 4 ounce sizes. We also have a fantastic neem soap that has a fresh lemongrass aroma. You can get these products and more at www.plantlife.net. If you want more things Plant Life, join us on our social media channels at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you next time.